<coughs> Sorry about that, guys. I had to uh, <coughs> do something else for about five minutes, and then I've come back. Sorry, I've paused it a lot on this subset uh, of the part of the playthrough. Hmm, battery medicine. Any idea where we could find a battery? Maybe at the auto shop. Oh, uh, yeah. One in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? Hmm. What about the fuel? Where should I start looking? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay. I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. How good idea. To shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Good idea. Be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. Alright. Good shit. Two man cell. I, I think two people is enough. Why am I being left in a room by myself? Alright, whatever. Talk to Ben. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? Uh, okay, I'll let you get into it. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. I won't be nasty about it. Just let him do what he wants to do. He is hey, helping. There is something you can help me with. Something's what? Something's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. Go on. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I oh, had fuck. The motor in, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. You're an idiot. <sighs> Look, Ben, I really don't have time for this. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it, but it's not now. Yep. Yeah. I agree with that. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. See, if I say you should tell him or not, he's gonna say, Oh, uh, Lee said I shouldn't tell you. And he's like, What? Oh, fuck you, Lee. And he's gonna, ugh. Oh. You know what I mean? It's fucking retarded. What's this? Look at dolls. Ugh. Creepy. Yeah, I was about to say that creepy. Okay. All right. Look at books. Blah blah blah. Pamphlets. The globe. I don't want all pointless shit. Let's go. I've got a job to do. Where did Gale go? Yikes, man. Bloodstains. There better not be no more walkers or zombies roaming around these halls. The alleyway to the auto shop's down here. You coming or not? Alright, I'm coming. Shit. Exit to the alleyway. I think that's what she said, so let's just get out of here. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Yeah, well, she ran off quick. Molly, you out here? Guess 
Guess I'm not going that way. Hmm. Look at the sign. Auto shop must be down this way. Okay. Why has everyone got run off in this? Oh shit, someone's lurking. Someone's stalking. Didn't like that shit. Okay. Where the fuck do I go? Don't know where I'm going now, guys. And this joypad seems to be. Why is it with the walking mechanism weird? What the fuck? I'm only walking forward. How the hell are they screwing this up? Ah. Herman's. This is the place I'm looking for. Right. How do we get in there then? Nothing can use boxes. Ah. Really? They ain't gonna hold my weight, surely. Apparently so. Damn, not good. Don't like being isolated in this area. Damn, it's jammed tight. Where'd the girl go? Yes, indeed. I want to lure them over here. I'm going to move for that shit. Oh, fuck. Leave him. He's mine. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Maybe it's somebody she hated. Who used to be in the society? Molly. What? Calm down. I think you got him. I think you got him. One more. So there's still definitely history there between the two of them. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Something's blocking it on the other side, obviously. Not a problem. Look what I found. A jack. Oh, nice. That'll work. Oh shit, all the noise. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Oh, come on. Better work fast. There's a lot of them out there as well. Oh, fuck's sake. Do, 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 do. Come on. Under and then release. Oh, there's one in there. <laughs> But they're too stupid, I think, to go underneath. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Uh, but there's a walker in here, dude. Looks All right. like it's the holes for the lift hydraulics. Just gonna start taking shit. No power. I don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Hmm. 
I'm sure we'll find something in here. I don't want to leave out there yet. Look at everything. If we can. Was it really doing that to us? Ah, a battery would be in the car. I can't reach it up there. Alright, so now we have to bring this down to get the battery, makes sense. This we can find it here. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Uh Alright, so we have to uh vanish out of here. That is annoying. Who's in the office? No way in. Oh fuck. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Oh maybe we got asked the girl for something to cut it with, that's fine. Let's try that. Do 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 walking casually. Something you need? Can I borrow your hook? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? Hey, Hilda. That's what? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. Before we crack on with what we've got to do... I promise now. Not a scratch. Let's talk to her. Something I don't want to lose the opportunity. Walk her in the alley. What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No, it just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. Mm, good point, she's getting touchy. Crawford. Happened to Crawford. No, no, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have well, about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. <laughs> so fuck it, I'll ask it anyway. I told you, I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me, or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? I'm going to have a look around. You do that. Well, I... Well, it wasn't any significant thing there. Like, she remembers that, all that kind of crap. But I wanted to find out anyway, so that's alright. But she did seem like she was going on that walker like it was personal. I think she was in the society, and then they booted her out. Or maybe she was a kid, and they booted her out, and then she survived on herself by a miracle. Alright, let's do this. I did it. Whoa, whoa! Ooh. That's probably not good. No shit! Fuck. I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. Still attached to the terminals. Okay. Come on. One more time. Got that one off. Done. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Unless you. Okay, follow me. Okay, come on. Move your ass. Oh yeah, he's really moving his ass, isn't he? Fucking hell! Hurry up. The great skylight. skylight. Okay. It's shut. Shoot it out. All right. Damn. Be able to lift me? Fucking hell! It amazes me how she is able to actually to actually lift the guy. Okay, so now we're on a roof. 
Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. That ain't too bad. Ooh, she's like a runner. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. Yeah, as if I'll be able to do that. Okay, so I died. <laughs> oh, my bad. Fuck. Oh, God. I didn't know what I was supposed to do. Just push X, like, randomly, or... So, now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. All right, here we go. So I'll grab her hand this time. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. What did you call me? All right, answered it with a bit of an attitude. There we are. Again, she's managed to pull that big ass man up. Fucking hell. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you still got the battery? Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! Fuck. Damn, what the hell is she doing? <sighs> what a pain in the ass. And what's this? Can't open it without the combination. Oh man, let's get the shit out of me. Any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. All right, shit. I thought they were walkers at first. Fine, get on with it. Head back to Ben. Ben better keep his mouth shut about the whole walker situation. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. What's this say? Principal Crawford. All illnesses and medical conditions. Oh, fuck off. Whatever. <laughs> I hate reading the signs and shit anyway. Wait, what's that on the floor? Little help! Little help here! Oh, shit. How the hell did these like, pop in? Oh, shit. The doors won't close all the way! Duh. Do there we are. We go. Break the door with something. Ah. What? Oh, I didn't do it in time. Fuck. <sighs> I don't know where that came. Fuck. The doors won't close all the way. Let's do something. Bye, bitch. Right, let's grab this. Whoop. Bingo. Oof. For a while. There's so many of them. Yeah, break the glass, not the door. Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans, they weigh a goddamn ton. Alright, maybe we can get into this armory and have a bit of luck there next. Done quite well. Hey, how'd you guys make out? We got the fuel. Awesome. Good job, guys. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She better be. Hmm. I'll chat with her. Hey Lee, thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. How long have you known Vernon? Hmm. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. 
Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old, even children, those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cool. It's how I feel. Well, I don't blame him. You'd seen what I seen. You'd feel the same. Yeah, I don't blame him one bit. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? That is ironic. How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together. Kept us alive. I'm I lived in Shito. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Okay, Jesus. Hmm. Let's talk to these guys again. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? <laughs> well, we couldn't... She was up above. We didn't have to, you know what I mean? We couldn't do anything. Have Look at the clown. what's going on in the rest of the world. Damn. To think. Probably the whole world, obviously. The whole world's taken over. Looks like they have quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Hmm. The same signals. The same kind of... Yeah, two... Like that, that signal on the wall and shit. Interesting. Just a bunch of paste. Hmm. Well, you've seen the dolls. Look around at various things. Hopscotch. Wow, hopscotch, holy shit. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. Hmm. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurse's office. And a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. We've already got all that shit. Do I leave? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Hmm. We're supposed to meet up inside these wherever. What was this on the floor here? Already been fired. They're worthless. Oh. Hmm. Don't feel too comfortable being out here. They're the walkers, so they're gonna kill me, so... To be honest with you, I don't feel like hanging around out here. <laughs> I'm getting back. Empty lockers, huh? Hmm... More paperwork. Well, that's it. All right. There's nowhere really to go. Hey, I 
I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Oh yeah, help with the medicine, that's right. Maybe now we can do that. So we do have to go this way, my bad. Oh, what's wrong with the... Controls go a bit weird sometimes and stop. Fuck you. They're gonna come in at some point, smash it down, you know? I see they're trapped. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Shit. Okay, well that lured them away. Damn. Woo! Good shit. Damn, man. What happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Oh, it's locked. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe. Locked up tight. <sighs> There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time. But I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Alright guys, let me check the timing of this video. Well guys, that is going to be the end of this part of the video. I went on a little bit longer than it should have. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.